recording this simple message to Scotland's Conservative Members of Parliament. Dear Douglas, David, Andrew, John, David and Alistair, we've all been watching the horrors as war once again has broken out in Europe. In less than a month, three million people are forced to flee Ukraine, mostly women and children. I was one of those people about 20 years ago when I was forced to flee the violence in Afghanistan in year 99 and I've since rebuilt my life here. But I'm only one of the many people who have made their homes here in the UK after a conflict that was nothing to do with me turned my life upside down. Many people from Ukraine are forced to make similar journeys as the one I had to make many years ago. But the Nationality and Borders Bill will make it a criminal act to arrive in the UK off your own back from Ukraine to seek asylum. This is not only immoral, it breaks the UN Refugee Convention. Since last week, nearly 100,000 people have volunteered to welcome Ukrainian refugees in their own homes. This is an incredible show of spirit and generosity. But this does not surprise me because people ask us at Scottish Refugee Council all the time as to how they can help other people. Now, I'm asking you, Scotland's Conservative MPs, to please reflect on this. Think about this moment in time. Think about a history that we're living through and listen to your hearts, please. When you vote tomorrow in the Commons on this bill, think about what is happening in Ukraine and how the world will look back on the UK's response. Thank you.